Hi, in today's video, we will discuss about overshoot temperature in autoclave load qualification. So what to do, how to investigate when there is an overshoot temperature in autoclave load qualification. So there are mainly two primary reasons can be there, which can lead to overshoot. One is higher pressure in the chamber at specific time when overshoot observed or large quantity of steam might have been injected into the chamber during that specific time. Apart from this, how this can happen or what are, what can be the other reasons how to investigate just we will discuss. So first check that what was the pressure during that specific time and compare that cycle with other good cycle, previous validation cycle and compare those two cycles to see whether is there any change in pressure? Are the pa parameters of the pressure are similar or there is a change? If there is a higher pressure during that specific time, which could have lead to the overshoot temperature, that is one. Secondly, check the temperature data of all the sensors in the load. If all the sensors are showing that the temperature is at higher side not all might have gone to the overshoot but if it is overall higher side when we compare to the previous validation cycle then it shows that this cycle has some specific issue with the cycle and not with the autoclave performance so we can compare the data and basis that we can decide what might have gone wrong with this specific cycle third point is check the load arrangement so whether, whether any change in the load arrangement, was it the same as previous validation, what is the same as we are putting in routine, or is there any change, increase or decrease in numbers or placement, have we changed the placement of the load components. We can see this and we can identify if there is change in the load. Thirdly, fourth is sensor placement. So was the sensor placement load accurate? Was it as per the protocol? Was there any changes? Was it touching to the metal surfaces? What is touching to the any other component? Whether it was whether some other sensors which might not be getting enough temperature, for example, autoclave RTDs, if it is not reaching the specific temperature, then autoclave will try to increase pressure, inject more steam to reach the required temperature. In that, when doing so, it will increase the pressure or steam quantity inside the chamber which might lead that other sensors will get overshoot. So this can be one of the reasons that if autoclave RTDs are not getting enough temperature or not etching the temperature then autoclave control mechanism will try to inject more steam or increase the pressure and then it can lead to overshoot. Another factor is was there any change into the RTDs? or any issues with the RTD calibrations of the autoclave control sensor. So if autoclave RTDs are not calibrated or some issues with the calibration, then it can lead to uh, some failure in control mechanism and it can lead to overshoot temperature uh, or uh, some uh, defect in the controls which can lead to overshoot temperature. One more thing, check the steam quality, whether the steam quality was okay or whether it was tested before the before the beginning of the qualification study. So if steam quality, there can be some problem with the steam quality, maybe higher moisture into the steam, then it will take longer, it will take higher pressure to achieve the temperature and in doing so, some of the thermocouples in the load can have a higher temperature. One more thing, check with the autoclave's control mechanism. So is there any change into the plus minus set parameters against the set point has been done? Was there any change into that control mechanism, control set parameters? Also, we can check the steam generation, pure steam generator set parameters. Was there any change or any modification to the pure steam generator operations parameter so that its performance might have been impacted? Also check the what sensor you have used. If you are not using the original sensor of the validator, if you are using a local sensors, cheap sensors, then it can have impact on the overall temperature profile. Check also the calibration of the sensor. 
you we can recalibrate the sensor to understand that was the whether it was any problem with the cali calibration of the sensor for example if we are calibrating sensor and we are taking maybe two three cycles and then there might be problem with the sum of the sensor then it can give us erratic results it can give false results so check the sensor calibration thermocouples calibration check that you have used the same validator validator which was using the previous qualification this practically should not have any impact change into the validator should not impact but for our reference we must check that whether we have used the same calibrate or same validator to validate the autoclave cycle apart from this check compare the cycles check, check the autoclave performance if you are trending like in routine we are trending the data temperature data autoclave data to check the autoclave trend data whether is there any drift in the autoclave performance from the route in the routine cycle check the routine cycles trend data so is there any drift into the overall performance or was it gradually getting more requires more and more pressure to achieve stabilization temperature from that we can understand that what might have been wrong with the overall autoclave system or steam quality or pure steam generator or placement of the loads so basis based on this uh, facts we can determine what might have been gone wrong which have resulted in over the temperature in water cooling cycle so hope this small video helps you to understand if you have more uh, uh, suggestions more reasons which can be contributing to over the temperature you can give it in comment section so everybody will be benefited that can be included in next video and it will help us to share knowledge to everyone Thank you thank you very much for watching my full video thank you